Kia ora, and welcome to another edition of Truth or Dare. <clears throat> All right. Um, truth. Does the style of parenting affect a child in the long term? Does the style of parenting affect a child in the long term? All right. Let's explore that, shall we? Now, just recently, I heard on oh, one of the shows on TV, I can't quite remember what it's called now, something to do with um, helicopter parent, parenting, yeah, whereby, of course, the parent is, you know, literally supervising everything you do, you know, like they're on top of everything in your life, literally, step by step, from the day you were born right up to God knows when that ever stops, yeah? <laughs> um, <clears throat> the other one, of course, is uh, uh, snow plowing parents, parenting. Now, um, I don't hear that one very often, but I have seen it, actually, yeah? Snow plowing parenting, whereby the parent or parents or caregivers actively remove every possible obstacle in the way of their, ch their child. Now, that one I find very interesting there. I mean, literally removing every possible obstacle. Um, oh, I mean, come on, I'm sure you can come up with your own examples there. I mean, there, there are so many, I can't, even, <laughs> I can't even come up with one. But there is a third one. Yeah, there is a third one, which I think hasn't been explored. In fact, it's a lot common than we think it is. More importantly, many of us do it. In fact, I believe a greater proportion of the population actually do it. And that is the parenting that involves basically allowing your child to manipulate you. Oh, there it is. See what I mean? I know. I mean, come on. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I love my sons. <laughs> I do. I really do. I mean, any parent, yeah, every parent, most parents love their children to the point that when you have your child, there is just your, your child or children just know how to work you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they, they, know, they understand your strength, your weaknesses. They know how to work it, you know, and before you know, they can lie to you right in front of you. You would not even be able to tell the difference whether they're telling the truth or not. My boys do it to me. I mean, someone as experienced as I am, literally, I get training every day from a variety of children from different cultural backgrounds. I get training on how to detect lies. I mean, I've been doing this job for over 20 years. And my own children occasionally have a crack at me. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing. Um, it's just part of being a parent. Eh? It's, it, 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 that's just it. But, you know, the strange thing is, for someone like myself who do what I do, you know, I mentor young people. I'm an activities coordinator. I run social development programs. I mean, come on, you've seen all the posts I put up here. Eh? All these experiences I have, it has helped me be able to detect when a child is lying. I can just tell. In fact, many of my staff who stand right next to me and a child will seem very convincing. And then my mentors will go, oh yeah, yeah, telling the truth. Then I'll look at them and say, no, they're not. And then I immediately just prove it right there and then and they're like how did you know i'm like ah <laughs> i have i have come across a lot of parents who for some reason don't believe their children lie to them literally so there are two kinds yeah there are two kinds there are those who their children will lie will lie right up front and then you add another lie on top of another lie on top of another lie and at some point you can the whole thing just starts breaking down yeah this whole 
you know, uh, <laughs> this, this whole pile of lies will just start break, crumbling. And then there is th this, the second group. They are the ones that are hard to detect. They will definitely take the truth and manipulate the truth. For example, I've had some children literally say, claim they are the victim of maybe bullying, for example. And you'd be surprised. A lot of the children who come forward and claim they are the victim of bullying are in most cases the bullies. I kid you not. I mean, they'll, they'll come out with the, the tears, you know, the crocodile tears. They would put on that, that good Hollywood acting, you know, all that bits and pieces. The occasional, oh, my leg, ah! you know like dying and all that kind of stuff you know it's quite amazing eh? um but as somebody who work with young people the only way to be able to understand and detect these things is you have to remain objective and you have to listen to everyone's story yeah it takes time listen to everyone's story then pull everyone together and listen to the different kinds of stories and then try and find out where it does not overlap that's how you detect these things yeah the moment you realize the kink in the chain you're like ah then you you home in you zoom into that area work out the kinks of that area to try and identify who's telling the truth and who's lying there is another big problem as well parents who don't believe the children lie to them often as a result of their action of backing them and saying, no, my child is not lying to me, my child will never lie to me, and all that jazz, I'm sorry, it makes the child worse. Imagine a child whose parents, father and mother, or caregiver, backs them up when they lie every time. Imagine what that child would be when they grow up. Oh, yeah. Or imagine a child who steals, and then... The parent comes out and says, no, my child didn't steal that, you know. And then the, the parent, literally, the parent comes forward, not just to defend the child, but to defend the action, the poor action of stealing, cheating, lying, you name it. Imagine what a child will become or that child will become. So, ladies and gentlemen, I guess the question is, truth can children manipulate their parents the answer is yes yeah it's just part of you know it's, it's just it's wired in us it's wired in us na naturally yeah to be manipulated by our own children so therefore what do you do all you have to do is encourage and motivate your child to tell truth and as the parent, not only can you be manipulated by them, you can also detect the truth out of them. It's not because you just know them, because they're yours, because you gave birth to them and all that. No, you have to get them to tell not just their side of the story, but the other side as well. Yeah, always focus on the fact, on the fact of what have you done? What did you do by process of elimination? What did you do? They'll tell you this, then you list, always listen to the other side of the story. If you don't, and I'm sorry, you're leading your child in the wrong direction. <sighs> anyway, I wish you all well, and I hope everyone is enjoying your weekend as well. Thank you all and have a pleasant day. Bye.